Thanks for having me. Thanks everyone, Marsha, Phil, Ken, Art City, and I also want to acknowledge the indigenous caretakers of this land, Chumash territories, and for those of you who may not be able to see it, below this uh, podium is grass growing from concrete. <laughs> this poem's called No Rain. No rain at night lets in sun-dried deserts before cactus flowers awaken in winter before rain. Sometimes at night I lie awake and listen to the silence of no rain and canyon lands, bottom floors of 10,000 year old rivers. This is their evolution, coming up through harmonic chakras, harmonies clear as carillons and a choir of voices, a cappella choruses arcing back to Chartres. No rain hold ancient memories in stones skipped across oceans where civilizations meet and bilingual tongues are its children. No rain at night lets in the moon, casting silhouettes against the wall in two-dimensional shadow play. We perform these rites, handle snakes and rattles while praying for rain. No rain offers windswept cracks in bells and walls and in our belonging, sounding out solari clay or cut crystal, fine-tuned to the music of the spheres. Sounding out against black nights, we lie cradled in dry beds of possibilities, hung high as mountains, slung low as craters. Hungry canyon mouths opening, awaiting offerings, devouring water, leaving traces of metal in the back of the throat. Fire in the pit of creation sends lightning rod messages transmitted by electrical currents of touch, no rain. Cuts to the core erases ambiguity of water where Pisces meets cancer evaporates into spacious time. Distance is measured in heartbeats, not raindrops, though once submerged knows no difference. Rain at night, no rain at night. One falls to the earth, one unveils the sky. As gravity pulls, the water remembers. <laughs>